Making It Work is brought to you by Wealthsimple, which gives everyone access to simple, affordable investing on cruise control. The year I turned 30 marked some really big changes. I started a new job, moved into my first solo apartment, and had to make a lot of big decisions at once. This pretty much forced me to stop and take inventory of my life and my priorities. I started thinking about all the ways this next chapter of my life was already so different from the semi-aimless wandering of my 20s. In particular, how what I value has changed dramatically. I make more money now than I did in my 20s, but I also think a lot more intentionally about how I spend it. Here are the six major spending swaps I've started making now that I'm 30. Number one, shoes I can wear to any wedding instead of a new dress for every wedding I attend. Remember when going to a wedding was a novelty? When the first wave of my friends started getting hitched around 25, every invitation was an excuse to overspend on a new dress tailored to the location and season of the nuptials, and probably new shoes or a clutch to match it. There were going to be professional photos taken after all. Now that I'm in my 30s and attending weddings is pretty much everyone's part-time job, I rerouted those funds into two pairs of quality heels that I can actually wear for four hours without wanting to die. They go with every dress in my arsenal, and I always make it to the last dance. Number two, flying direct instead of paying for extra fees and in-flight cocktails. In my 20s, budget-friendly was my number one travel priority. If that meant saving $100 by taking a 1 a.m. flight with a four-hour layover, I was down. But as I got older and my ability to sleep sitting up or function after being awake all night significantly diminished, I started getting smarter about my travel. I plan ahead to cut out crappy overpriced airport food and extra baggage fees. And I never drink on the plane, because $10 for a glass of cheap wine that's only going to give me a headache just isn't a deal I'm willing to make anymore. Instead, I splurge a little more on direct flights that leave at convenient times so that I can hit the ground running and make the most of my vacations. Number three, a decent gym membership instead of cute workout clothes. When I was younger, I was super self-conscious at the gym. I always wanted to try group classes, but I felt really intimidated by all my Lululemon-clad, grippy sock-wearing classmates. Dressing the part in color-matching crop tops and leggings definitely helped me conquer that insecurity and get into a groove with my exercise routine. But now that I know the lay of the land, I would rather recycle the same worn-out t-shirts and grab new sports bras off the sale rack at Target so that I can put that money towards improving my actual workouts with a personal trainer or a membership to a quality gym. Number four, quality skincare instead of fancy bath products. I spent my early 20s in a tiny apartment in Brooklyn. So moving to LA and discovering my new place had an actual bathtub was basically the height of luxury. I spent all kinds of money on scented bubble bath, essential oils, aromatherapy candles, anything that made that time feel even more luxurious. I did really enjoy it. But once that novelty wore off, I realized most of that stuff was just pretty smelling BS that had no real effect on your skin or health, or left it worse off than before. Bath bomb slime, anyone? Now I stick to the basics. Soap, hot water, and Epsom salt if I'm feeling fancy. And I invest in a good moisturizer and other skincare products that actually work. Number five, good booze, instead of takeout every other night. As a 20-something, I always knew I should be cooking more meals at home, but I was also constantly running from work to the gym to happy hours, and then, ugh, I'm so tired, and my favorite Thai place is just right there. We all know how that story ends. Now that I'm more settled and have an actual kitchen, I've discovered that I really prefer having friends over to cook rather than going out to eat. A well-stocked bar is a we're grown-ups dinner party staple. I love being able to offer my friends a proper cocktail when they arrive, as opposed to whatever leftover booze we can dig out of a cabinet from that party my roommate threw last month. Number six, investing in my home instead of multiple weekend getaways. For me, turning 30 marked my official induction into the Stay Home Club. I moved into my own one bedroom about a month after my birthday, and designing my new home became a full-time hobby. I invested in a lot of new furniture and decor that made me happy. When I was younger, I would start itching to escape the city and my roommates every couple of weeks, blowing a ton of money on last-minute tickets and accommodations. But now that my home is a place I love, I'm much happier to stay here and just enjoy the space I've created. Being intentional with your spending is a totally personal choice where one person might really value a stay in a luxury hotel, but think it's crazy to spend more than you have to on a car, someone else might get a ton of joy from their new ride and be perfectly happy crashing in a hostel. 
take some time to think over your own spending priorities once in a while. Notice how they've changed along with your life. Writing down what was important to me in this new phase of my adulthood has been super clarifying and useful, and I plan to keep doing so at the end of every decade I make it to. All of our priorities change as we get older, and the more life you live, the more you realize just how important it is to take care of your future. And with a company like Wealthsimple, you can start investing in that future on cruise control. Wealthsimple is online investing that's as simple and human as it gets. In just five minutes, they'll build you a custom portfolio to fit your personal goals and timeline. Just answer a few easy questions and they'll manage your money for you on autopilot. Set it, forget it, and let your money grow in the background. You can turn on automatic deposits as well as set up a smart savings account with higher rates than big banks for your shorter term goals, your wedding, your next great adventure, or that handbag you need. They also have a socially responsible portfolio that invests in green stocks and companies that support gender diversity. The fees are much lower than big banks and TFD viewers will get their first $10,000 managed for free with no minimum deposit. Check them out at wealthsimple.com slash TFD or use the link in our description. There are no account minimums and it only takes a few minutes to start. No excuses.